Hello again, meatbags, bots, and etc. Welcome to part two of Baby Pine's response video. In this episode, we get into some of the specific allegations of wrongdoing. When we left off, she was trying to cast doubt on whether Nick Nobody was really removed from the Underflow Discord server. Let there be no further doubt. He was indeed booted following his warning about the shenanigans going on there. Here, have a look at the message he left that got him banned. As you can see, this is not a threat. It is simply a carefully worded warning that minors, adults, and inappropriate material are mixing in Underflow's Discord. Now listen, to her say she doesn't know what happened to Nick. And maybe that's why, but otherwise I have no information on that one. But he does say after this message he got kicked out. So I'm sorry if somebody did ban you. I didn't do it. I was at work when everything was unfolding, which is... It was not great at all, but I did try to get to the bottom of that to see if someone did ban you, so I apologize again. Baby Pine, please stop acting like this didn't happen. Nick has been an extremely honest person in our experience. If he says he was booted, he was booted. All this talk about not knowing what happened seems really disingenuous. Especially when we have your evidence showing how upset at least one mod was about the warning. See right there, he says Nick was stirring up shit. Two things on that. First, if there had been no shit to stir, there would have been no problem, right? Second, the only people who could see his warning as a problem are folks who enjoyed the server as it was. This moderator clearly liked things the way they were. Otherwise, he wouldn't have phrased his message this way. This is chapter two, just information about what was said in the video. Now getting into the juicy stuff, mmm, delicious. So next part of his video, he talks about the like self-identification of the server, uh, the age rules under 18 over 18, self-explanatory. We want to know how old you are so we know how to properly moderate the channels. Make sure you're not seeing NSFW stuff, even though there's a rule against it, so we make sure to get rid of- There's a rule against it, you say? Hmm. Yes. I see here it says no NSFW or otherwise suspicious content. NSFW, by the way, means not safe for work. Bringing Nick's warning back up, it's even more obvious now that he was simply trying to help you out by showing you the rules weren't being followed. Show that anytime it potentially could have popped up. That includes gore, by the way. Most of the pictures that were sent that had to be removed were gore, not actual, like, pornography. So, I would like to put that out there. And also, the gender identity rule, that's not for searching what kind of friends you're looking for. That's me saying, are you a female friend, are you a male friend, or are you an other friend? Because everybody should be friendly with one another. We're not trying to have people, like, searching for members of the opposite sex trying to eat a- Look. If friends were all you wanted to be made there, why would you add gender roles? People can be friends online without knowing each other's gender. In fact, that actually seems like the best way to ensure e-dating does not occur on your server, especially with a mix of minors and adults. That's not okay. That was never the goal. This was just solely for identifying yourself. And I do have... <laughs> I wouldn't say it's an issue, but I understand where he's coming from in his video. He says that the server should have been 18 plus only. I kind of personally disagree with that just because Discord's terms of service say 13 plus. Attention! Your opinion is something you are entitled to, but consider this. Just because Discord says it's okay, doesn't mean it's a good idea. Are there gonna be kids who lie about their age? Absolutely, hell, my meat bag was one of those. However, merely accepting that some kids can fake being adults does not mean all children should be let in anyway. The best way to keep PDFs away from kids is to not allow kids to mix with adults. That is weird. Think about it. Would you be cool with your kids hanging out with an adult you never met? That's how stories of Sierra Alpha start. Is good to go. You're allowed to be on Discord as long as you're over the age of 13. And in my head, when I think of an 18 plus only server, I immediately think of e dating, NSFW, that type of thing. So that wasn't the goal. We didn't want e dating. We didn't want NSFW. We just wanted a community where people could come together, talk about, you know, a YouTuber that they enjoy, give suggestions about videos that could be made next, other YouTube channels that they like, that type of thing. Okay, but when gory and porny pictures started going up, wasn't it obvious that the users didn't see things the same way? Or were you just not doing your job as a moderator? By that I mean, did you not see what was going on? It was never, ever, ever meant to be any of the weird things that you are kind of implying in your video. And I apologize if that comes off as accusatory. I'm not trying to accuse you of anything. Yes, you are. You're indirectly saying that he somehow either overreacted or made up what he said he saw. You can say you're not doing something, but if you're actually doing what you said, you aren't at the very same time you're saying that. 
you're automatically made out to be a liar. You did say at the beginning of your video, you're not trying to paint Underflow in a negative light, which was appreciated, but all of the comments that are painting him in a negative light that you're interacting with and not interacting with the ones where it's like, oh, he made a mistake, you should maybe give him another chance. And that was that. She basically spent a half an hour trying to sow doubt and double talk her way to being seen as someone who was blameless. Baby Pine, this was ridiculous. Everybody saw what happened. You simply weren't prepared for the flood of people that came in. And all the sickos that snuck in too. In short, you screwed up. 11 or 12 people aren't enough to moderate 500 people, let alone the volume you got. You know what the most amazing thing about all of this is? To Nick too? It blows our minds that you didn't simply say, whoa, we did not expect that volume of people. And because of that, we got swamped and couldn't see what was going on everywhere. Some sickos took advantage of our mistake and we are sorry beyond words that happened. It has been rectified, the server is gone and I've learned a valuable lesson about what crowds of people are like. Please don't hold it against Underflow and please understand that I did not expect this. However, rather than covering anything up, we felt the best course of action was to be transparent. Instead, someone booted the whistleblower and made everything look sus. Another very large mistake. The fact that none of the mods were willing to fess up also says that your mods were lacking in honesty. However, I firmly believe you most likely banned Nick. And it probably wasn't malicious, you were just really embarrassed the server you ran turned into sicko world. And I understand I'd be embarrassed too. However, not owning up to it only made the situation worse. And that's what we think happened.